Okay, so for the first drill, guys, we're gonna have uh, myself being the teacher. Tyson's gonna go ahead and be the student here. My job is to hit some semi-aggressive, more push dink style, uh, trying to move him side to side. What Tyson's trying to train is his instinct that as he's moving, as he's establishing position a little bit off balance, that all he needs to do is just make sure that he's locking that wrist and popping that ball up very shallow. So we want to use the term shallow. That's why we've positioned the court, uh, the cones about midway between the kitchen line and the net because we want him to use his height. Height will give him a high percentage of making sure he makes the shot as well as giving him time to get back in that ideal position. All right, here we like go. It. So I'm trying to move him. That famous Tyson McGuffin lateral movement. We're really going to put that to the test here. Pretend that was in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, no Versus this is this is me bailing out. Okay, it's it's tough for me obviously to get ready for his counterattack as my weight's going that way. I, I'm basically saying here, I'm basically saying, hey, I'm just gonna bail out and see what happens. But when I bail out, not only am I am I am I in a bad spot. But now it's one versus two. What's the likelihood of us winning the point as is one versus two? Yeah, okay. Slim, unless you win the point right there, you probably lose the point, right. okay? So working a few more here. Yeah, I call that a one-shot wonder. Notice Tyson's height. He's playing with plenty of margin. And again, that's giving him time to reestablish. So every time he plays it, he's coming back and getting right in the middle. So he doesn't know which direction I'm gonna go. And he wants to be equidistant right. between each of the spots that I might hit. 